match start. Should have been more. But Rob Cross busts his score. It is one of the most... It's gone straight onto the Danny Baker narrated DVD. Now that's what I call sexy Euro Tour darts, which will be available at Christmas. 100. That's actually not a mask. <laughs> Astonishing darts today. It's been so entertaining. 97. I like the way this one has started. A little bit cagey, just finding their feet a little bit. It's hard to top some of the stuff we've seen tonight. Uh, uh, well, I mean, Daryl Gurney's been involved in some crackers this weekend Gurney himself. Won, I mean, he beat Glenn Durant in the previous round to book his place here, yeah, and he beats him well with 100 Gurney average. 6 1. Does average 99 and a bit, but he just took his chances. He's not going to take this chance. And Geron Price gets a chance to break the throw in the opening Safety. leg. And the way that Gezi's been playing with 101 40. average for the weekend. If you go behind, it's going to be very difficult to get back. Yeah, shot the first leg. Geron Price. After watching Gezi Price on the European Second Tour for the last couple of years. Game on. If he starts hitting tops with his mm. first dart, that's a really bad sign for Daryl. It is a very bad sign. But, no, I, I, I would not... I've, I've eulogised about Gurney all weekend. I, I think that he is a, a fantastic outside bet. There are so many players ranked lower than Davil Gurney who are short odds to win the World Championship. No, Dan Superchin. Come on then, Dan. I'm going to stick you on the spot. What, what World Championship final do you want to see on New Year's Day? What would you love I, to I, sit I, down and watch? I don't, there are so many combinations. It doesn't matter. All I'm thinking about the value. And when you 100. look at the betting, and I will deliver my... Uh, insight through mime which won't work on audio commentary but 56. when you look at the betting Dow Gurney is a much bigger price than a lot of other players a lot of other players who have done less than him and are ranked lower than him 59. and Dow Gurney has never done it at the world championship but he's been doing it in other big tournaments and I would not be surprised if we go to the world championship and one of these two guys doesn't have another major title under their belt. Yeah. These could be the guys to look at. 40. I want to see Gavin Price in the World Championship final. I think it's going to be incredible. Yeah, I think there'd be some sort of amount of buses going to Ali Pali from Wales that day. The swarm of Welsh people could be after they win a World Rugby Cup. Imagine that. Mm, big win for the way. He's obviously he's a former rugby player, Gerwin Price. I'm sure he was watching the game earlier on this morning. 60. I'm asked about it. Actually. 42. As the Welsh held on to beat the Aussies, he was quite happy looking at his story on Instagram. 62. Uh, see, I don't do Gary Instagram. 150. Mainly pictures of food, which is right up your street. <laughs> Yeah, lately, I've been watching the progress of Gerwin Price's new dart practice room, which oh, he has built from scratch. Oh, I really? Very impressive stuff. The plastering went up this week. Double 10 to paint red. A 2 0 lead. Oh, we we'll want that one back. Darren Uruguay, 16. He's not throwing many poor darts this weekend, Gerwin Price, but that was one of them. Doesn't look too close. Isn't. Yeah, on the second leg. Daryl More than not, we talk Third about to throw those first. darts being gauged. Game. Sometimes when you've got a dart that is as long as Daryl Gurney's, you have to go for a different portion of the bed, whether it's high or low, and just try and avoid the dart that he's thrown previously. It, on that occasion, that's exactly what he's done. We saw it against Glenn Doan this afternoon. I was commentating with Rob Malarkey, and there was, there was one dart at, at double 18. Now, your former World Cup of Darts partner, Simon Whitlock. 174! Oh, moved across. I was wondering where he'd gone there, but it's a 174. He's a big fan of the little steps around the hockey to change the angle because he's looking at how the darts in the board, and if you come at it from a slightly wider angle, uh, it's four. more of a target to use that and slide down the barrel and find the target. Daryl Gurney managed it at double 18 early on this afternoon. By doing exactly that, even no, though the, double eight, the first start of double 18 was a long way outside, but he still found a way to use it and came in off the barrel and went in. That is elite level darts, isn't it? It is, hey, because dude. that takes me back to the Premier League semi-final, where he had three darts at double 12. He's missed twice outside of the double 12, 
But like you say, it wasn't close. But he still used it. He went to the left, and then slid it down the first dart's cane, down the barrel and through uh, the point angle, and it just slot in lovely. And that dart was to go 5-5. Five, five. It was a big shot. 60. It was a big shot, and it's one he hit, and he wasn't far away from stopping Michael Van Gogh and going on and claiming the title and making the final himself. 138. But that's a superb leg of darts from Gary Price to leave himself tops after 12. Gurney needs trouble 19 or 15. Can't get it. Bullseye finishes well. Bullseye finishes with a thing that made the difference against Glenn Durrett. He stuck one in the ball there. The other one's bounced out. And Price yes, takes Sunday advantage. Going Price. Fourth leg is going to throw first. Well, game on. This game is a bit like my football career. It's a bit of a break fest. <laughs> Can I explain that? Uh, I couldn't stop breaking things when I was playing football. 100. Hearts or limbs? Limbs. Okay. Standard 180 from Gurney. He's utilised those darker coloured darts very well this weekend. He usually uses golden ones, but he just fancied a change. 140. Well, he's got a chunk, and I mean a chunk, of ranking money to defend next week. But I don't think that phases him whatsoever. I think he genuinely believes 100. that he's going to get that Grand Prix for a second time, and why not? But I was going to say this earlier. I was talking to Peter Wright when... He was defeated by Nathan Aspinall earlier. And he was bolstering his chances with some chatter, and he said he couldn't believe that he was second favourite for the Grand Prix. And I said to him, "Why is that a surprise?" Sixty. Peter Wright. Yeah. One hundred and sixty-four. Interesting. Needs to go for it. Hang about. Oh, Great try. He's been close Daniel for a lot Ball, of those 160 plus seconds this weekend. Well, he nearly took out the 167 to beat Cross, and it would have been a convincing victory. But he is going to get a go at the 25. And I think Gerwin Price is going to go... Why is it 5 55. for double 10 or is it 1 for double 12? Daniel Bois, 25. 1. 24. Slide down the barrel. 13. Oh, I wouldn't want to be that third dart right now. You're about to get a lambasting. Darrell Gurney. Could stay there. Don't know why he didn't, to be honest. I thought that was a superb go. He's shown that he didn't use it with the last dart, but I don't think he actually gave it the full care and attention that it might have deserved. Yeah, I agree with you. I think Sting on the 60 was the prudent shot there. Oh, what a guide. Surely. How did that not go in? How has that not gone no in? No score. Darryl he heard the darts, and the flights nestling together. That just goes to show how well he throws darts together. Aha. Show off. Oh, that is awkward. What do I want to talk leg. about? Darryl that wasn't down. awkward. He knew it was going in. Fifth leg is Darryl to throw first. Well, he's got away with that one, Gurney, and he knows it. And Gavin Price doesn't like it, and you can see... Like that. This is the thing. But I, game on. They get on with each other. They are mates, and away from the stage, they are really, really nice, chatty, friendly individuals. You get them on stage, game face goes on. Ninety-two, and they butt heads, and you can see it. You can see Daryl Gurney. I've watched him so his way to victory in big stage games. Gerwin Price is obviously a very combative uh, character. One. They have fallen out more than once. If this gets close, this could be a little bit fractious. 60. But it might actually spur them on to do something a bit special in this. Well, sometimes they act like a married couple, don't they? It's all <laughs> yeah. lovey-dovey and then all of a sudden you stick a bit of pressure in it. 60. And they want to knock seven bells out of each other. Premier League. Happened in Sheffield where Gurney got himself a little bit of trouble, I think he did, by uh, aiming a fist at Gerwin Price. That takes a brave man to do that. Yeah, it didn't follow through. It was just a sort of mock. Well, I say mock, but he was. Yeah, I would imagine. Did he get a DRA fine for that? I think he did. 
for the if he hasn't yet then he will do Gary Price is not a man who's a stranger to the DRA himself of course but it was on the Euro Tour last year where Gerwin Price beat Davil Gurney in an absolute nice. thrill it's a great game international darts open last 16 clash Price won it went on and lifted the title super chin absolutely no, fuming and that continued in the practice room as well but this is what it means they care about it and double top for super chin Gives puts him in line. front Double with a magnificent check out. Oh, I love that. When there's a big check out, you get the full game from Kirk Bevins. 108! And there he goes with the tonsils once more. Uh, Army man go. approves. Uh, this is what we want now. These two get into this stride. We've got a classic on our own. Fifty-nine. Whether you like them or whether you don't, because there have been times where audiences have oh, booed them both and clapped them both. Yeah, so they're just great daughters, and they, when you put them together, you get fireworks. That's what we want. I mean, you know, we mentioned. Oh, dear. Mentioned Christoph Ratajski compared to the Bjorn Borg this afternoon, in that he's this sort of emotionless automaton of sport. But See, clashes of personalities, clashes of styles, clashes of characters make sport, and we've got some here. Some people don't like going price, some people absolutely love 46. it. Going I think it's fantastic that we've got somebody who just mixes it up a bit. And yeah. plays world class darts at the same time. Yes, on the sick leg. Gerwin Price. Gerwin Price has had Tonight three shots at top. And he's hit it all three times. Darrell Gurney should read the script. The script says, don't leave Gessie on tops. Two holds of throw to follow four breaks. We're settling in here. You're absolutely right, Dan. Oh, here we go. There was a spell at the start of the last 16 clash between Gerwin Price and Rob Cross where, quite frankly, the world number two was made to look ordinary by Gerwin Price because he was just relentless. He was averaging up towards 108, 109. Rob Cross had no idea how to handle him. He came back at him. But if Gezi gets on a spell like that, even the resilient... Daryl Gurney is going to struggle to live with him. Well, the average is on that special. For the best three. statistic really is uh, that 60% check away for Gurney and the fact that Price, when he's had a shot at tops, has taken it. 85. But the averages don't reflect how good this game has been. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? It's, a, it's an interesting clash. Be an interesting clash in the semis. Whoever comes through to take on Christoph Ratajski. Price has a chance to break the gurney throw once more, but he's not going to do it. I love that route for 136. That's proper new school no, dart. 48, 48, 48. Tops. Now, he's left tops. Has Gezi. Daryl Gurney needs to hit this. Oh, yes, what a so shot so from so Gurney! 4-3 to the good for Super Chin, and that deserves a round of applause from everybody here. Under the cosh, fires in a ball check out. He did that hey, twice to Glenn Durrant, and it proved to be the difference in the match. He acknowledged it afterwards. He said, we're not for two back-to-back -back ball checkouts. I think he put him three or four one up. That game would have been very, very different. 96. must be very difficult for Daryl when he's in games like this. It must be very tempting to get involved in celebrations and stuff. But the thing is, Gerwin Price in this game has not utilised that tactic yet. It's been quite a calm, composed, focused no, game. And does that play into the hands of Gurney, maybe? I, I, I genuinely don't know. It's difficult to gauge when and how Gezi is going to react. What kind of persona no, you're going to see. He's playing all right. He's not playing as well as he was against Rob Cross. 
but Davil Gurney is nowhere near the levels of performance we've seen from him this weekend, and yet he is 67% on the doubles. That is what's keeping him in this match. That's the difference. 58. Missed a couple of darts in leg two, Price. Missed six darts in leg four. There have been opportunities for Price to be away in the distance, but this might be the well, chance for four. Gurney to hit him. Gurney just did what you were talking about. He had a perfect first dart and he went to the right of the hockey to try and slide it down. And the second dart was unsuccessful, but the third gone. one got there and it's turned out to be a very valuable dart. 57 scored, 52 left. Yeah, just checking. Single 20, leaves double 16. He loves the double 16. Yeah. Massive visit from Daryl Gurney. Now, we have proof how big that 60 was. That 140, previous to that checkout, was as good as the checkout itself. Gerwin Price is averaging almost 10 points more than Daryl Gurney. Safety. But he has missed more doubles and he has missed chances in the early part of this game to put it to bed. And Daryl Gurney, if you give him a lifeline, he can hurt you. He's not playing his best stuff, Gurney. It might be now. But if he just pulls it together for one Good night, Gessie. There's an element of what's gone wrong with Gezi's expression. And Gurney, that expression doesn't change much. 60. UK Open champion Nathan Aspinall. Danish Darts Open champion Dave Chisnell. Christoph Ratajski, former world master and the greatest 42. player ever to come from Poland. And quite possibly, players champion, Northern Irish number one and former Grand Prix champion, Daryl Gurney. That may well be no, our semi-final lineup. If it is, who's your pick? But I'll tell you what, I think Gurney, as well as he's played no, in little not. moments in this game, might have to up it to beat Ratajski in the semis. He's not been that convincing, but when big moments have come along, he has delivered. 72. Not far away, that one. Gezi has got to put in the 177 and hope. This is the position as a professional dart player no, you want to be five. in. Ahead, 32. on a double you love with three darts in hand to get through. Two 16s. Oh, find the angle, Mr. Hypotenuse. I love how the referee's checking the toes, doing his job. Oh, no, and he only just comes up short. Gerwin yeah, Price has just been given a lifeline. Does he believe? His finishing has been superb in this game, Daryl Gurney. But at the very final hurdle, he has faltered. And Price could make him pay on the ball. 97. But doesn't manage to do so. And surely Gurney that is the death knell for Gerwin Price's Gibraltar campaign. The back-to-back -back Euro Tour titles will not happen. Because Gurney will pin double eight. Game shot. And Not does do for a 6-3 win. Daryl Gurney, a rare victory against the Iceman. But it's not rare to see him in a semi-finals of a...